Good evening, campers. It's me. Did you know I... I got some books for my birthday. <laughs> oh, let's put you down. It was my birthday and quite a few lovely people sent me books. And I want to show you, these were literally like the majority of the books I bought. Now, I don't think I can continue talking about them until I mention a very special gift that was sent to me by Emma. Ma'am, let's start off with the books that I bought myself, of which are two and one of them isn't here yet. So let's talk about the one that isn't here. So I pre-ordered Audrey Sash's new book, Zealous Immaculate, which like I already know it's going to be great. If you've been following me for a while, you might know of the name Sash, otherwise you might not. Sash has been published by Infinity Land Press and I, I went out and bought their anthology, of which I'm going to do a review because this covers basically what the ethos and the style and the content of this amazing indie publisher. So expect the next book was given to me by my in-laws. Wait, there's another book by them. Oh, it's right down the bottom. We'll come back to this. These two were sent to me by the lovely Natty over at Book Epiphanies, who I actually met up earlier in the year. We met up in Hay on White. During that day, we spoke a lot about books, understanding what we liked and what we didn't like, which meant that Natty sent me her most hated book of 2021, which is Betty. I know a few people absolutely adore this. It didn't work for Netta. She wants to know my opinions. So that's going to happen. And then she sent me, on top of that, she sent me Dom Casamuro. She said in a lovely note that she sent to me was, <clears throat> in my opinion, the most important and brilliant writer there ever was in Brazil. Need we say more about it? Just to let you know, TLDR, I don't know what half of these books are about. So you're going to get a very superficial, wow, isn't this great? Isn't, isn't, isn't that what we're here for? The same Emma who sent the hat also gave me Empty Houses by Brenda Navarro, which Fernando Melchor of Hurricane Season fame said is one of the best kept secrets in Mexican literature. Do we need to know any more about this? Sold. Molly over on Instagram, Malls by Midnight, sent me these two, very excited, uh, Sasha Filipenko Red Crosses, which I actually don't know what this is about. Uh, a heartwarming tale of human connection with the history of modern Russia from the Bolshevik Revolution to present day. Very excited for this one. I'm really excited for this one. This is The Devil's Dance by Hamid Ismailov. Um, you can Google this. It sounds great. Oh, because you look so good, I'll tell you what it is about. A man gets arrested by the Soviet state and then has to reconstruct a novel that he's writing based on a famous Ubek poet. Speaks for itself. I'm starting to forget who sent me what. These two were sent to me by the lovely Miranda, who has a fantastic YouTube channel. Go check her out. She writes regarding Batfler Lake by Adam Mars Jones, of which I reviewed Box Hill by him earlier in the year. Um, Fitzery is all year round, and I'm bad at being creative with presents. Are they wrong? The second book is Pain by Yerusha Shalev, which is translated from the Hebrew. And Miranda writes, saw this on the wish list and had to. Happy birthday. Have pain from Miranda. It might be have pain. Oh, pain because of the book's called pain. Darn it. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Back to the books. I mean, we didn't really move from the books, but you know what I mean. Oh yeah, the same Emma who sent The Hat and Empty Houses also sent me Insane by Reinhold Gotts. Fitzuary is not a February only time. Read Fitzcarraldo's whatever. Embrace Fitzcarraldo editions. Become Fitzcarraldos. And don't get too angry. You need temperance. Uh, which was sent uh, by a Grace. She sent me the Netanyahu's uh, by Joshua Cohen, which is uh, dedicated to Harold Bloom. I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, why not? Grace has reviewed this on their channel, so I'm gonna link that down below. Thank you ever so much, Grace. And I, I love this, I love this. I remember when um, I, I questioned what the card was, uh, Grace said that oh, she just drew it and put it in. I was like, you drew this? And she was like, no, I've just been like, from 
the deck and I was like, <laughs> yeah, I, I know what you mean. Oh, whoopsie. Low shelf esteem, Charlotte. You know her, you love her. If you don't, go and subscribe. She sent me out by Kitty Row uh, because I'm collecting these for my bookshelf. I would say I've got, this is literally the second one. I am now starting to collect them. And also Goethe by Katerina Kushkova, which is translated from the Czech. I want to say... Why does it say anything? Previously published as Vianani Gert the Shishnich, uh, Czech Republic 2009. You're welcome, Czech Republic. I, I, I speak Czech now, I know. Uh, which is about a woman dealing with the divided post-war era. Need we say any more? Oh, this is about, um, I think someone gets murdered. That's all I know, and that's all you get. Isn't that a nice cover? Suppose, you know. Someone sent me these, and I don't know who. I can't remember who sent me these. If you know, just, just, just tell me, and I'll up. Date. Three Iris Murdochs of the vintage classics. We have Under the Net, The Bell, and A Fairy Honourable Defeat. Iris Murdoch, I am indeed collected, which will be alongside the Japanese um, editions. I mean, they're just great, aren't they? And after reading The Sea, The Sea, I'm a little bit. I think I'm a Murdoch fan. I think she's a fan. Fantastic. Oh yes, Ribbon Natty, Metapover and Hey Oh sent me the most hated book. You know the one. We, 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 hold up now. We're going to start reading Erotica. Don't ask why, we just are. And we're going to read together uh, Bunny Moi, you're welcome France, uh, by Virginie Despente. Uh, I don't know how to speak French. Do you know, um, when I was in school, we had three weeks of doing French and one week of doing German. And in my school, you had to choose if you wanted to do German or French. And I remember Madame Roberts just walking up to me and just went, just just choose German. Like, are you okay, are you okay with that? And I was like completely okay with it. Um, so, pardonne-moi, pardonne-moi, if you can translate that, you know what it means. And it's one of the most controversial French novels in recent years. I mean, we say reason. Look at this cover. This, this is, this hasn't, when was this published? Oh, on the back, this is literally just print on demand. Um, didn't think it was a bestseller anyway, so that's fine. I can't remember who sent me the book. Let's do a distraction. Look, it's the Regeneration Trilogy by Pat Barker. Now, this is important because the second book within this trilogy won the Booker prize and I have no idea if they're standalones or if you need to read all three so this is great whoever did this you're amazing Fa I didn't even know it came in one book but you're oh, you're so good I can't remember who you are maybe maybe you're like a man of mystery maybe you're like elusive oh shiver white timbers anyway I'm going to be doing a review on the regeneration trilogy which consists of regeneration eye of the door the ghost oh the ghost road's literally the last in the trilogy but that's the most important one that one the booker so I'll be I'll be reviewing all of this this year I've dedicated myself to this this year World War One booker winner Ah, oh, doesn't that sound great? Well, one doesn't, but you know, Booker winners, people. Staying on the Booker trade, we have Peter Carey, The True History of the Kelly Gang, which is a lovely updated version. This was said to be by my in-laws. Now, the reason why I want to read The True History of the Kelly Gang, not because he's won the man Booker twice, and this book did win the Booker, but also this is about, in Australia, uh, <laughs> Ned Kelly used to go around shooting people with a bucket on his head. Sign me up. This book links us back to this book, because my in-laws bought it. The Animals in That Country by Mackay, which is about, in America, a pandemic has swept across the nation, which allows people to understand the thoughts of animals. That happens. Welsh superstar and cultural icon, Victoria, who have met in real life, she's absolutely wonderful, sent me these two, a case of exploding mangoes, which is about a case of exploding mangoes. It was shortlisted for the booker and also a nerve Rick McDonnell would be happy to see this. It's not April, but you know, hey ho. Uh, this is Houses by Borislav Pekic. 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 This book is Montenegro. It's translated from the Serbo-Croat. Well, he was born in Montenegro, 
but he lived in Belgrade, Serbia. I don't really know what you classify this as, but it's about a man who builds houses, loves them, names them after people, and it's on his last day. I mean, I've read The Fountainhead by <laughs> by Ayn Rand. <laughs> <laughs> which was horrendous so i need a bit of architectural <laughs> literature to to win me back over oh the fountainhead vine ran oh what, what a I've, I've i've read atlas shrugged vine rand as well and that was <laughs> that was a side fest do i might do a review on Atlas Shrugged because oh, so much is wrong with that book. FYI, I'm a huge Kate Crafter fan. So I actually did buy this. I don't know why I didn't put it at the top. Um, it's uh, Hjalmar Sundberg's uh, Dr. Glass, which she raved about. Uh, it was short and I was I was sold. Again, to absolutely no surprise, I, I upgraded some of my Rushdie copies. So we've got The Ground Beneath Her Feet, Grimus, his debut, and Shalimar, The Cloud, which... Uh, I might be doing a review on this soon because my daughter really wants me to read this because it's pink. I wasn't gonna... Were you going to argue with that logic? Because I wasn't. And finally, I don't know if this constitutes, but it was given to me around the time of my birthday. It, it's Purity by Jonathan Franzen. I ordered this on Christmas. And it just, it just never turned up and I, I didn't want to quibble. I was like, eh, whatever. Like... Christmas, things go missing in the post. I don't particularly care. Um, and then one of the neighbours from like four cul-de-sacs over brought this to me and went, oh, I think this is yours. We opened it on Christmas Day and no one knew who it was and I've only just realised it was meant for this address, not ours. Uh, would you like it? To which I went, Yeah? She went, because I have spilled water over it. And I was like, well, well, you know what? It functions, doesn't it? She put it on the radiator. But she did want to inform me that I think it's readable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there was purity. Those are all the books. And now i got to tidy all of this up whilst drinking Negroni. Stay safe, kids. And remember, an Ali Smith bucket hat will always beat a Sally Rooney bucket hat. Go to bed with that knowledge. Tell your parents, tell your nan. Have an absolutely grand day. <laughs>